technology and how it can benefit you and your personal safety. Hello, my name is Amy S.P. Wilson and I am the CEO slash founder of Safety Positive Foundation. And we are gonna mambo number five right into this discussion. That was actually kind of how I came up with the, the five things. Um, and of course, as I was writing the, the newsletter um, for, for this particular topic, my brain went into more than five things and we shared more than five things in our tea time. And that's the bonus of being signed up for our newsletter. So if you're not subscribed for our newsletter, highly recommend it so you can attend our, our tea times. But I'll, I'll probably give, you know, maybe one or two, who knows, in this, this particular, as I, as I tend to do. But our first thing that we, we wanted to, to share is the first aid app. If you are interested in learning some basic first aid, the first aid app is accessible, which I was pretty excited about. So if you haven't had an opportunity to download that app, it has uh, a few different uh, things to go through and they give you a little, um, some quizzes to, to work through. You don't get a certification or anything cool like that, but again, it's good to have that basic knowledge of, of first aid. Our, our second thing we wanted you to think about how technology can benefit you. I mean, cause I mean, if we're thinking about technology where you can learn first aid through tech, hey, um, when we're thinking of technology, those Lady A devices, cause I don't want to set anybody's off or those, those Google home devices is, uh, they have security features to where like, say you're traveling for the holidays you can turn it on to where like maybe if the door, the window breaks, um, it will report, um, it will call the police for you. And so that's that's a pretty nice feature as, as far as that goes. And I highly recommend you to check out what other kind of security features it has, but that's one of the ones that um, when I found out about it, I was like, well, that's nice, but I would recommend turning it off when you get home because I mean, I don't know about you, but I tend to break glasses, drop things, and you know, I don't want the police getting called. If I'm shattering something, uh, that would be uh, awkward. Be like, sorry, I'm blind, I'm clumsy, I drop stuff, it's a thing. Um, when people are just clumsy, uh, can be clumsy in general. It doesn't have to be specifically a blind thing. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I wanted people to, to think about is what are you what are you sharing um, with your with your social media? Now it's it's a technology thing, but this goes beyond like maybe uh, social media. It could also be on your your list serves if you're not on uh, maybe social media platforms like Facebook or or uh, TikTok, Instagram type of situation. But what is what you know what what are you what are what kind of information are we are we sharing you know sharing like your mother's maiden name um that's a common security question maybe we don't want to be sharing that kind of information um or specifically where you're you know where you're going for the for the holidays um i know we like to to share that kind of stuff but maybe sharing it when you get home might be a better i you know better idea um, instead of sharing while we are we are there we don't want to report to everybody hey i'm out of town type of type of situation another thing going back to my brain just thought of is the another thing that lady a or those google devices can do is you can turn on your lights on and off even when you're not at home so that way it it makes it look like you are our home even when you are are not so another nice thing to to think about one of the uh, uh thinking number four at this point that that i that i have um had many conversations with people um in uh, over the years is what is in you when you're when you're creating content um, with with technology people want to make videos take pictures it's all great I love it um, as far as that goes but what's in the background 
what do you got going on in the background? For example, I know in the background, I've got some pictures of some fairies. I've got some um, mask, uh, the, the like the Mardi Gras um, mask or um, Day of the Dead mask type of, type of situations. But I'm usually very mindful of what is going on in my, my backgrounds because I don't want to give specific geographic locations type of situation. Now, granted with my business, it's a little different, but um, before that, I was very mindful of what kind of geographic locations I was I was giving giving out as far as those kinds of details. So if you're if you're nervous about that kind of stuff, again, being mindful, it can also be a thing of um, you know, if you have thinking from a professional standpoint, um, you know, maybe if you're at a party, maybe you don't want that bong in the in the corner. Maybe not a good idea. Just again, from a professional standpoint, I know it's legal and, you know, getting more legal and, and things like that. But those are things that are being, you know, recommended from a, again, professional standpoint. I don't care if people do it. I'm just, I'm just saying what, you know, has been said, um, said why. So you can come at me for the comments. I'm, I'm good with it <laughs> as far as that goes, but it's a, it's a, a common social media safety, uh, recommendation, um, when it comes to, to technology type of, type of stuff. And then here's our last one. And, and this is a very common safety positive, um, recommendation that that you've heard us say you got to find what works for you okay don't try to do all of our recommendations all at once um and I guess the one thing I probably should have said before that is another app that I found that I that I liked is an it, on the iPhone it comes up as women's safety but when you download it it comes up as Perry but it's an app that you can use to where like say you need to get out of a, a situation or um, you're stuck in this conversation with somebody, your phone will call you. Um, you can decide what kind of phone conversation you want it to be like, okay, it's an emergency. I need to get the hell out of there. Um, it will, it will give you the prompts to, 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 to get you out of there. I think it'll even do text messages as well. So that's a, another nice technology, personal safety, um, option as well. And I think, I don't know why they call it women's safety because men could use this too. I mean, totally it's a gender, gender neutral type of, type of option as, as far as that goes. But again, okay, so going back to my last one, finding the right combination for you. Try something, if it doesn't work for you, that's fine. But when it comes to technology and personal safety, there are lots of different options. And just in general with personal safety, there are so many different things. Safety Positive Foundation's goal is to make sure that you know that there are tons of options for you. We just want to introduce you to them so you know what's what's there and finding out what what works for you. Um, and if some works for you and some doesn't, that's that's totally fine. Just figure out what what essentially what what works for you um, and 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 what doesn't and. Safety Positive Foundation wants to serve as a guide for you in this in this journey. So, um, if if you're sitting there struggling with it, please feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to assist you in any way possible. And um, as always, keep it safe, keep it positive, keep it safety positive, and we'll we'll see you next time.